Are you ready to race for six hours, eight hours, even 24 hours? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm 100% ready. Are you ready for every twist and turn the 2022 FIA World Endurance Championship? Oh, my goodness. I'm always ready. Absolutely. Yeah. I should uh, tell you I'm born ready. I am ready. And you? Yeah, we have to. Huh? Lights go out and away we go. This is the 10th season of the FIA World Endurance Championship. We are racing LMP2 car. There is Hyper Cup. There is GT. We've got the case of Richard Mille Racing, an eight times World Rally Champion. We've got people like Lilu Wadu paired with Malesi, who's won the championship last year. In the case of Prima, Formula One race winner and a reigning European champion. It's a big lineup this season in the, in the LMP2, so I think the competition is very high. Goodyear is supplying our tyres, which I think they are very good endurance racing tyre. The most important thing is your tyres. You've got to think that the surface area of the tyre is no bigger than my two hands. And these cars are doing 340 kilometers an hour. We've added the big complication of taking the intermediate tire out. When you've only got slick and wet, it's who's changing to which tire at which point. Who's going to take the bigger risk to go to slicks earlier or stay on wet longer? When we put wet tires, if it's too dry the track, if it's not enough wet, then uh, you destroy them immediately. Races are won on the track and they're won in the pits. Gaining two, three seconds on track is hard. Gaining them in the pits is quite easy. We race in the desert in Bahrain. We're at Spa in the snow. And then Le Mans, it's the day, it's the night. The same tires deal with all of that. And the weather you can face is changing every time. In Le Mans, this is normally dry and wet. A world championship's a global endeavor. And when you're a key supplier like Goodyear, you've got to be ramped up to effectively moving a factory with you to every venue we go to. So you've got to think about all the logistics that goes into moving five or 6,000 tires all the way around the world to Japan, to Bahrain, and then to Le Mans 24 hours. It's a real challenge. Motorsport is a data-driven sport, and you learn with every single lap of those cars are out there. We work with the team to get the most performance for the longest distance. We get a lot of information in LMP2 from the cars while they're on track. We have all types of sensors that measure tire pressure, tire temperature, but the biggest and best sensor we actually have is the drivers. There is a constant discussion between team and driver when you're in the car. Uh, in the end, the final decision to which tire you will take will be the driver. When a tire is produced, we give it its own identification chip and it means we can track that tyre, sending all that information back to our team of engineers working at every event so that we can develop the next series of tyres. In some of the products we're now using, we're actually putting compounds that we've developed on track on a road car because the level of performance that everyone is looking for is what we're learning from the track.